Hey guys, it's Kim here with Barely Fiber Fun. Thanks so much for joining me today on another spinning video. Today I am spinning a black Gulf Coast native fleece um, that I turned into roving on my own drum carter from fleece. And while I was spinning this particular section, my man was in the room with me and we were having a little conversation. So you will get to hear a teeny tiny portion of that conversation here in a moment. I did silence most of it because it did not pertain to today's video. Anyway, um, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this space. And I appreciate you very much. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Are you having fun sitting Hello. in the wool? <laughs> At least that's all clean wool, except for the paper bag behind you. Mm -hmm. So that was funny uh, with him trying to put his socks on and sitting on wool, uh, bags and bags of Jacob roving that were in the way. <laughs> uh, my man puts up with so much and he's such a sweetheart and so incredibly supportive. Um, and he's used to the bed being completely buried in wool when uh when it's daytime anyways so anyway um this video is showcasing how i production spin and i just thought it would be really really lovely to let you hear the chatter of the wheel in high speed some of you have probably watched my instagram lives where i am spinning at a um, more gentle speed and the wheel isn't quite as chattery but this is what she sounds like when I am spinning at my normal fast production speed. And I spin fast for a couple of reasons. One is because I learned on YouTube from videos that had been sped up. So I learned to spin very quickly by watching people spin in high speed, in double or quadruple speed. So um, it comes naturally to me. The other reason is because it saves time and um, it I am able to make more money per hour of work with less cost to you the consumer and that's very important to me that you don't have to pay a ridiculous amount in order for me to make a paycheck anyways um, I am taking you through a lot of the spinning the singles and applying and then I uh, will show you some pictures of the finished yarn at the end.
since that was so incredibly loud, I thought I would spare your poor ears and give you a little explanation while this portion is silent. So I am using a Knit Picks cake winder. Um, it does make a cake of yarn. It doesn't wind actual physical cakes that you eat. Although yarn sometimes looks yummy enough to eat. Oh, never mind. Um, oh boy. Anyways, I only have one bobbin for Lady Elizabeth. And so when I am ready to spin the next bobbin, I have to do something to empty the current one. Um, because there's only one. So I am winding a center pull plying ball, except that I'm going to put it onto a cardboard tube that comes from the veterinary clinic. Um, it's the center of the uh, first aid wraps or something like that. Anyway, my best friend works there and she brings them home all the time and she shared with me and they are smaller and stronger than toilet paper tubes. And so they're perfect. Anyway, I, um, as I'm winding onto this ball winder from Knit Picks, gosh, I can't talk right now. I am watching the bobbin and the flyer very, very carefully because I don't want the yarn to tangle up and I don't want to put too much strain on the bobbin and the flyer itself. So I will stop if there's an issue anywhere at all and fix it. And also as the yarn becomes less and less built up on the bobbin. I slow down my winding so that the bobbin doesn't spin too quickly and essentially might end up putting too much strain on my flyer. I really don't know. I don't want to risk it. Anyway, all done. And here's the port part where I slide it onto one of those tubes. And as you can see, it fits right on there. Super, super easy. This goes right on the lazy cake and is super 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 easy to ply from as long as you keep the balls in the center of the tubes and yada 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 okay so i am plying on a different wheel because lady elizabeth has little bitty bobbins and the babe production wheel has great big bobbins so there on the floor, you can see my Lazy Kate is just sitting there holding the tubes, tubes with yarn wrapped around them. Gosh, that was hard to say. And I am simply plying away like I normally do. Nothing special to this. It's just a standard two ply, super easy. Nothing special, like I said. I am applying to about a 45 degree angle because I want a lot of bounce in the finished yarn. And a lot of the excess twist will wash out, the excess twist energy will wash out in the bath and will relax. So the yarn will not be over twisted when it comes out of the bath. Anyway, I am going to let you enjoy the Bay Production Wheels chatter, which is quite different from the antique wheel. Um, and I will see you later. Once again, I'm saying I will see you on the next one. Have fun. Enjoy everything you do today. Know that I love you and appreciate you very much. And I am blessed to have you in my little family here. And yes, at the very end, I will show you pictures of the finished yarn. Bye.